Can you smell it? It's it's new tire day. I love new tire day. Brand new, just released Proline Aztec 1.9 crawler tires. And this time Proline did it right. They actually released it in the Predator compound. Very excited. Let's get them out of the box and give them a first look. So here we are, V tread pattern design. Got kind of a stepped lug here. I don't know if you can really see it, but the lugs are actually a stepped up in. Some good kind of claws out here on the edge for digging through stuff. Definitely directional pattern has a little arrow on the side. Blue dot, we are in the Predator compound. Comes with foams, but it's just Proline single stage foams on the inside. Hmm. Nice and soft Predator stuff. We know the wheel is 1.9 millimeters. These should be 475 tall. And yes, they come in unmounted. Just looking here, eyeballing it, they're coming in right at that number. In order to give these tires a good test, we're going to put them on my Red Cat Ascent Fusion. Still running the stock tires on here. So we're going to be taking the bead locks off, disassembling them, swapping these over. I'll save you the misery of watching me do all that, and we'll just fast forward to getting them on there. There you go. Now that's looking pretty dang good. Look at that. I'm loving it. Put it on a set of trio wheels that I have on here. Bolts up. Looks beautiful. One thing I am noticing here, just even compared to the stock Ascent tires, is just kind of the thickness of the lug. Stock Ascent tires are four millimeters thick, and it looks like on here we're literally at maybe two, two millimeters thick. So the lugs are pretty shallow, but if you look at it, look how tall the carcass is. So the, the overall tire height's basically the same, but the tire lugs are basically the same. So that means this carcass here is actually significantly shorter than this one. So yeah, that's interesting. Um, it's kind of a big tire at the end of the day is kind of what I'm getting at. Very square as well. And so that, that tire is all the way out there with only just a small amount of tread sticking up off of it. Maybe that means it's not necessarily your mud bogging tire at the end of the day. But I bet for loose dirt, rock, those smaller lugs are going to be just at home. Every time. I'm a moron as it turns out. Every time. Every time I assemble wheels, I assemble them and then remember that I like mine vented and that the easiest way to do that is with them off the wheel. Friendly reminder from me to you, don't be like me. If you want to vent your tires, vent them before you put them on the wheels. The tires are all on looking awesome. Let's go give them a test drive. Thank <laughs> you. 
Those things did surprisingly well. I mean, you got every time you get a ProLine tire in the Predator compound, you got to have some pretty high expectations for it. Their, their Predator compound is very sticky, very soft. But the size of these lugs meant they didn't fold in underneath each other, which is sometimes what happens when you have that Predator compound in a, in a deep lug. Um, sometimes they fold over because these are smaller, maybe that angle that they're at, the size they are, didn't have that at all. Um, had no issues with traction whatsoever. There's a couple of those obstacles that I'd go over with the stock tire. I would occasionally get a little bit of tire slip, um, especially a couple of those rocky obstacles. Maybe the stock tires would just slip just, you know, just slightly, like a revolution or something along those lines as you went up. Not, not a lot, but these, zero. It just literally gripped and went. So, I love them. I think they're, these are great. And what I'm going to do next is leave these on this truck and I'm going to use them as the standard tire on this truck. So if you are curious, after I've got it into some mud, some more maybe loose loamy soil, been able to do some more miles with it, check the date this video was published and go let me know down in the comments. Maybe it's six months later, maybe it's whatever. I'm going to keep these on here and I'm going to give them more of a long-term test. If you're curious how they've done over a longer term, feel free to ask me down in those comments and I'll let you know how, how long I kept them on, what all I used them through, that kind of thing, and answer any questions that you have. If you're curious about anything else that I've done with this Red Cat Ascent, there will be a playlist popping up over to your right and I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching and goodbye.